Crews with the Department of Environmental Protection are out tonight monitoring and sampling large algae bloom activity on Lake Okeechobee. There are more calls for the U.S. Army Corps to stop discharges after a disturbing satellite photo of what's sitting on the lake. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan joins us now. Alex. Well, Jay Kelly, we have this image, these two NOAA images. This is from last week. You can see no algae activity, but we're going to fast forward to an image taken just yesterday. Just take a look at this. This is all the algae activity. You can see the red and yellow spots here on the south side of the lake, stretching from the west to the east. And of course, that is the issue is that it's near Port Mayaka. It can eventually come to Port Mayaka, those locks there, into the St. Lucie estuary and eventually into the lagoon. Now, of course, spokesperson told me they are monitoring all of this algae activity and we'll take that into account on whether or not they will discontinue those discharges. For a little more than two weeks now, we've seen Laco discharges come through the Port Mayaka locks and eventually into the St. Lucie estuary. That's Central Marine in Rio. We will be covered with an algae map. Mary Radabaugh expects the inevitable, which is another algae crisis like the one in 2016. People did have to shut their businesses, some gone forever and some just loss of income. She hopes the Corps shuts the gates, but that's unclear at this point, a Corps spokesperson told me. But maybe this image will factor in their decision making, algae activity exploding on Lake Okeechobee. Like a flower, it blooms, goes away, and then it will come back. Jackie Thurlow Lippish is an algae chaser. She's worried about what's looming out on the lake. Finding out information to share with other people. Her husband, Ed, snapped this photo Saturday from the air. Jackie wants everyone to document this. It should be public for everybody all the time. All she can hope for now is the gates close soon before these blooms make their way east. I am concerned that the algae from Lake Okeechobee is going to blow up in the St. Lucie River and we are going to have another 2016. Now, a DEP spokesperson reiterated to me today that all of the samples of algae they have taken have shown low to no levels of toxicity. In the newsroom, Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5.